Hello, my name is Dennis Littlefield and I'm from campmaker.com and we're going to talk today about the electrical system in the current van project I'm working on. I think uh, one of the hallmarks of Campmaker is to try to do things in a simple way, to try to share the value of a simple design that helps with reliability and function and cost and all those types of things. So. Uh, this particular panel, this backer panel, will be installed in uh, the, the van I'm working on. It'll be a part of a bed platform, so it's a, essentially a, there'll be two basically twin-sized beds on either side of the van with an aisle down the middle, and so this will be installed in the front third of the, the, the bed cabinet. So I needed a way to build it so that it would be accessible the, the front portion of this will have two slider doors, but I also thought it might be helpful to, uh, to create the video while this is still in the workshop so it's a little bit easier to explain what's going on. Um, like most things in vans, you have a limited resource and you're constantly dealing with kind of either ends of the issue and having to compromise some to come up with something that works in most of the situations. Uh, if an individual really wants a, a massive electrical system, uh, I've seen some people spend like $25,000 on an electrical system that I honestly don't think is necessary. And so um, I, I try to kind of push the envelope on the other end of things where I want something that's really functional but not excessive in what you're doing. And so a common scenario is uh, individuals assume that you need a 3,000 watt er inverter in order to run an electrical system in a van. And that's really not necessary. And so in this case, uh, I've chosen the Samlex, uh, it's a 1200 watt inverter. And basically the main area you just have to adjust in is you can't run more than one high powered electrical appliance at the same time. You can't run your hair dryer and you're an induction stove at the same time. But otherwise, basically you can do everything you need that is common in a van. And so to begin with on the left here, we have a, it's a double pole circuit breaker that is needed for a solar battery, a solar connection to your battery. And this particular one is, uh, is available through Explorers Life. There are some of these double pole circuit breakers that uh, have been shown to burst into flames if they're not used right. And so this one in particular helps solve that problem. Uh, so this would be solar. The next breaker is for the alternator charging. And so this will be connected to the battery alternator uh, in the van. And then that these two sources then come into the Kisse uh, charger. It's a, it's a dual charger. So in other words, this this unit right here is a 50 amp charger and it, it controls either battery, DC to DC charging from your battery or any of the solar charging. So it takes the place of two units. It's a uh, very high quality. And in a lot of ways, I like finding new, new equipment that is not necessarily the name brand that everyone uses. And that one of those, uh, companies would be Victron, which I have a lot of respect for, but I also don't feel I always have to use Victron for my appliances. And so, but because this controls both and it's a 50 amp charger, it accomplishes a number of things. So a, a comparable setup would have the MPPT charger that would be from Victron and then two 30 amp DC to DC charges. So essentially this accomplishes most of what those three units would do together. So then that then feeds into the safety hub. Blue Sea Safety Hub is a, a hub that accomplishes a lot of different things. It allows you to have a connection point with uh, fuses that then can control the amount of electricity coming into your system. From there, you have the This is the, a Victron smart shunt. And so in other words, all the energy being generated into your battery system 
runs through this, this shunt, which is then connected to a Bluetooth app that you can keep track of how much uh, battery charging is going on. The uh, cutoff breaker that allows you to turn off how much uh, batter your battery running through your uh, the rest of your system, and then this uh, the Samlex inverter charger. So when you're plugged into the grid, the it switches over to a charging mode and starts charging your batteries. When you're not connected to the grid, it automatically switches to inverter mode and then starts providing juice to the different units. And then this battery right here, uh, most commonly I've done uh, 200 amp hour systems, so it basically would be two batteries wired in parallel. And uh, I've been realizing that probably a lot of times 300 would be better, so just a little more capacity than what I've often had. And I really didn't want to wire together 300 amp hour batteries. I've been using SOK for a number of years and have been very pleased with their, their build quality. Uh, the teardown videos are amazing in terms of the internal parts and the quality that they build. And so this is a 280 amp hour battery. Uh, it's uh, essentially $1,200. And so it's a very reasonable price but also I like the aspect that it's just one battery and it's kind of heavy, it's about 75 pounds, but to start with everything in one battery and then use that to power your system uh, helps with the, uh, the simplicity of the overall structure. So if you have any questions about any of these things, uh, feel free to, uh, to ask those uh, through the avenue of the YouTube, but uh, thank you for letting me share about this simple electrical system.